Welcome to this video on the Yashka FX3-7 series of cameras. Back in the early 1980s, I used the Yashka FX3 as my main camera. It was the first camera I bought. I had another retro 1980s day recently and took the Yashka FX7, which is a chrome finish FX3, out to shoot some film. I've included some of the pictures I took. The Yashica FX3 7 series of cameras were manual exposure cameras aimed at the amateur market. They are manual focus cameras that have centre weighted metering. They take lenses of the Contax Yashica line made by Carl Zeiss, Yashica and other manufacturers. Introduced in 1979, the camera has a manual film winder and a rewind crank for film rewind. The film speed range is 12 to 1600 ASA in one third of a stop increments. Metering is centre weighted metering only. The range of shutter speed is from 1 second to 1 1000th of a second. Flash sync shutter speed is 1 125th of a second. A mechanical cable release can be attached to the shutter release. The main controls on the Yashica FX7 are the film winder, the exposure counter, the shutter release with a thread for a cable release, the shutter speed dial, which incorporates the film speed setting. The hot shoe connector. The rewind crank. On the back of the camera are the viewfinder cover. The metering button. On the front of the camera are the lens release at the top of the lens mount the clockwork self-timer lever. On the bottom of the camera are a film rewind release, tripod socket, and the battery compartment that takes two LR44 batteries. When the film has been wound on, the shutter can be fired using the shutter release. The shutter speed is set by rotating the shutter speed wheel. B is for longer exposures. The film speed is set by lifting up the ring on the outer edge of the shutter speed dial and rotating the ring until the desired film speed is shown in the film speed window on top of the dial. Pressing the exposure check button causes the display in the viewfinder to light up. The camera has a clockwork self timer. This is activated by rotating the self-timer lever anti-clockwise. The self-timer starts when the shutter release is pressed. The self-timer incorporates a mirror lock. To rewind the film, press the rewind release on the bottom of the camera and then rotate the rewind crank until the film is back in the cartridge. A contact round diopter lens can be mounted in the viewfinder cover. Cable release thread in the top of the shutter release button is used to connect a standard mechanical cable release. There is no TTL flash metering support. Flash sync speed is 1 125th of a second. The viewfinder illustration from the brochure is shown here. There is an overexposure indication, a red plus, an underexposure indication, a red minus, and correct exposure indication of a green circle. Yashica described the FX3 as the action machine in their brochure for quick response, simplified handling, and compact, lightweight design. They also refer to it as a perfect camera for a beginner. An assessment I would agree with. It is simple and easy to use but lacking the sophisticated features of the contact cameras. They were cheap when introduced and can still be got cheap, although repair and servicing costs will make them anything but cheap if work needs doing, which given their age is quite likely. Later versions of the FX3 appeared, the FX3 Super and the FX3 Super 2000. These slightly altered the design, incorporating a grip and doing away with the exposure check button which was replaced by a half press on the shutter release. A flash ready LED was also added. 
The maximum shutter speed was also increased to one two thousandth of a second on the last, the Yashiga FX3 Super 2000, which also had a wider film speed range. The basic mode of operation of the cameras remained the same though. The later marks may be a better bet as they are newer. The Yashica FX3 7 series are a simple, complete mechanical camera that will operate without batteries. It has a very limited set of features and some features such as being able to see what aperture and shutter speed are set without having to look away from the viewfinder are rather missed. Also an automatic mode to track lighting changes automatically would help in changeable lighting conditions. The mirror lock on the self timer is a nice feature on such a low spec camera. The leatherette on the Yashica FX3 7 series, like contacts of the same period, degrades badly and has been replaced on this camera. The Yashica FX3 7 series supports a magnifier or right angle finder being fitted on the viewfinder. They can also be used with the Auto Macro Bellows PC. I would be careful to find one in good condition if considering buying one, and it is likely that any would need servicing and recovering at least, given their age. The cost of any significant work on these cameras may make them less of a budget option than buying a context nowadays. I have added some pictures taken on my retro 1980s day of photography. All shots were taken on Yashica ML lenses. The film used was Ilford HP5+. I have included some crops from the full resolution scans of shots taken using a tripod, cable release and mirror lock. 